Hi guys, Ethereal Awakening here doing individual zodiac sign readings. This one is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Check your north nodes. How you do that, go on to Google, Google free natal chart, and any one of them are pretty good. Um, you have to have your exact time of birth and your place of birth, city and state. And don't guess at your time if you don't know exact, just use noon. Um, and then it'll give you a, a readout of the placements of the constellations and the planets at the time of your birth. So you can kind of jump in and get a little deeper into who you are and how that influences you um, deeper. Now, I'm jumping right into these readings today because for uh, about once a week for the past three weeks, I've had this energy, this feeling inside me like, and the way I've described it, which I did in a previous video, is kind of like when you're on a roller coaster and you're crushed in the hill, that first big drop. And you know on a normal roller coaster, it's, go, you know, that, but just that feeling. Well, this roller coaster is sitting right there at the top of that hill, right at the crest, and it's rocking back and forth, back and forth. Like, you don't know when this one's going to go. And that's that excited feeling. So I'm jumping right into these readings today. Uh, Spirit, what messages do we have for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in the sign of Cancer? Spirit, what messages do we have for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in the sign of Cancer? Spirit, what messages are for Cancer? Ooh, Ace of Cups. Ready to emotionally fulfill yourself. That kind of sounded bad, didn't it? <laughs> you know what I mean. All right. Let's jump right in, Cancer. Showing up, Queen of Cups, in your current energy, along with the Eight of Rods. I do believe I said something about emotionally fulfilling yourself, like ready to, you're ready. I mean, this energy right here is, Cancer is understanding these nudges that, I can be happy and fulfilled all on my own. There's one person in this current energy, one cancer. So this is this, you know, and she looks into the past because there's, there's good, there's good lessons in the past. If you are open to learning them, which this is another card, this is learning this is remembering. I'm gonna, it's not about learning. It's about, we think we learn when we get like all these, but it's just a memory. It's opening up a memory that we forgot. It's like you're, for, it's, you're remembering who you are, Cancer. Heart space. Two of swords. Along with the three of pentacles. So there's, you're a little emotional, a little overly emotional about it. And there's that block because there's all that water behind this two of swords. And that's all the emotion that's, you know, you can't see the emotion. So, you know, the triggers that we have where we kind of just emotionally explode that's kind of where this Two of Swords leads us into those moments of, because I'm not looking at my emotions. She's got the blindfold on. She's not looking. I'm not looking at my fears, the crest of the moon, the crescent moon. I'm not looking. I'm blocked. If you're not looking at your emotions, if you're not looking at your fears, you will be blocked. So something that you want to come together it, it's probably not, you know, right where you want it to be. Let's look at this possible outcome. Reflection, you know, the pentacle energy is grounded. It's not overly emotional. It's not overly analytical. You know, pentacles are grounded energy, like really looking at from a down-to-earth kind of perspective, like looking frankly. You can see he's he's in the past too. But again, and so is this Queen of Cups. It's not, you know, when when you have when you have this this much this is the possible outcome. 
There is, I can't dictate the future for you. I can just give you the cards reading here. So there's a block in between something you want to come together. A relationship you want. Changes in your current relationship. A job change. Something you want to come together. Something you see yourself in the future really working on. There's a block there. It's not, you know, taking the time to reflect on what we've gone through, what seeds we've planted, what, what, what cycles have we accomplished already? And I say accomplished because even the ones that we had that had less desirable outcomes, their less desirable outcomes are trying to get you to learn something about your emotions, about your balance between the analytical and the emotional self. The Queen of Cups on an imbalanced day is very emotionally reactive. Will be trigger, triggered easily. But you're recognizing that. You're seeing, I don't want to be like that over something, you know, where the next day you're like, I'm sorry I said all that stuff, you know. Like, constantly going over that, those triggers... The block is we're not looking at our emotions as something that there is trying to teach us about ourselves. That's, you know, this, this seven of pentacles is looking back. I mean, he's a farmer. Like, he, he's planted seeds and he has faith that they'll grow. He, he's, some won't. He doesn't sit there and cry over the ones that don't. He flourishes in the ones that do. He recognizes that if I do the same thing over, I get the same results. And then maybe he can start actually going online and learning about well, what kind of new fertilizer can I use? What kind tweaking and moving. And some are some are successes and some aren't. That's the energy. It it's it's looking frankly at your emotions and the over it's a overthinking. If you're overthinking or you're over emotioning, <laughs> over feeling. Where's the balance in there? This is what this is what this spread is asking of you, Cancer. And there's the King of Swords. Making plans, executing with precision. But knowing your execution with precision is not going to yield you perfection. It's just going to mean that when you see an imperfect result, it's teaching you something. This is, the king of swords is so mature in that precision action, those plans that he makes. He recognizes that it's not always going to be a success. But he doesn't hang, he's still the king. He still recognizes, okay, I'm going to do it different and keeps going. So this is definitely, because everybody's looking in the past or blindfold. Everybody in this spread is looking in the past. Underlying energy of what you might not be aware of. I've got the Knight of Pentacles with the Ace of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles. So this is, Cancer, this is definitely, all this Pentacle energy is asking for you to really start getting into that, the ground, you know, grounding yourself. Grounding yourself in, you know, not too overly emotional where all that water just... All those emotions just get ignored. Looking at those emotions as your emotions and they deserve your attention. Not your boyfriend's attention. Not your girlfriend's attention. Not your wife. Not your kids. Not your mama. Not your daddy. Your attention. One person in this card. Take the blindfold off and look at your emotions for yourself. What are they trying to teach you? That's what this energy in this possible outcome is. Is... Both, all the solos, looking in the past to see what is it trying to teach you about yourself. Well, it's trying to teach you about, boom, there's that Ace of Cups. Emotional fulfillment. Beginning, having a new way of emotionally reacting instead of, or no, emotionally responding instead of emotionally reacting. So you can start eliminating all those next day, I'm so sorry, you know, saying things that you didn't mean. You know, the experiences we have where we are constantly mulling over, oh my gosh, I said such stupid things. I did such stupid things. No. What was it trying to teach you about you? Not about the other person, about you. And how that emotionally will be fulfilling for yourself. You get to start self-fulfilling your own emotional maturity. 
And it's going to be hard work. I mean, all this pentacle energy is simply saying, don't come at it from an overly analytical position. Don't come at it from an overly emotional position. Look at yourself as this loving, caring, compassionate, and that it's not going to be easy. We've got the eight and the knight. The eight of pentacles is the work, and the knight of pentacles almost looks like the same guy in the cards. Just one of them's, you know, got that must. One of them's just after the hard work of emotionally fulfilling yourself, you're ready. The knight, the knight has that groundedness and he's ready for battle. He's ready to, I'm not going to emotionally react to this. I'm not going to be triggered by this. I'm not going to have another, you know, two days go by and then have to come back and go, I'm sorry I said all that and did all that. The knight is ready. He's, he's coming at things very groundedly. It's going to take a lot of time. This isn't an overnight process. This pentacle energy, it's relearning because you're going to make slips and falls. This is a new process. The, the ace of cups is a new beginning. So recognizing cancer that as you're kind of toddling through these emotions, be kind to yourself. Be gentle to yourself. The queen of cups is kind and gentle. And your current energy is your recognition of needing that. I need something softer and, and more compassionate and appreciative of myself. Because there's nothing but an emotional fulfillment that comes from self that raises your vibration and your frequency. And then you start pulling in everything that you want. There's no block to this three of pentacles in your heart anymore. So I hope this has helped, Cancer. I'll see you next time. Bye.